Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of logarithms. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here from this topic, the question tells us that we need to find out how many number of distinct solutions of the equation that is log of mod of sine x to the base half is equal to 2 minus log of mod of cos x to the base half. So we need to find out how many distinct solutions you have for this equation given in the interval from 0 to 2 pi. So in the interval from 0 to 2 pi, we need to find out how many distinct solutions we can have for this equation which is given to us here. And the answer choices, if I talk about, they are given to us as 2, 4, 8, and the last option given to us here is 16. So we need to figure out which one of the options is the correct answer for the question given to us. So let's solve it and understand. So if I apply the ideas of logarithms first, we know already that if I have this log cos x to the base half, I have to bring it on the other side. Here it is minus, so if it comes on the other side, it becomes plus. So if I apply that idea first, log of mod of sin x to the base half plus log of mod of cos x to the base half. That is equal to 2. Now once I have this entire idea here, if I apply the formulas for logarithms, I know log a plus log b is equal to log of a into b. So whenever you have addition, it becomes multiplication here. So if I apply this idea here as well, I get this as log of sin x into cos x to the base half is equal to 2. Now if I apply the other formula for this, we know log a to the base b is equal to log a upon log b. So if I apply that idea again, I get this as log of mod of sin x into cos x upon log of half is equal to 2. Now once I have log of half divided, I can take it on the other side of equal to and it becomes multiplied here. So if I multiply here, I get this as log of mod of sin x into cos x. That is equal to 2 times log of half. And once I have this idea with me, I can just take that as and write this as log of half the whole square. I'm just applying the idea again for logarithms. That is, if I have log a and if I have b ahead of that, I can just take that as the power as log a raised to b. So if I just use that idea, I get this as log of mod of sin x into cos x is equal to log of 1 by 4. So I get my equation. If I have log a equal to log b, I can just say a is equal to b, right? So I'll remove log from both sides in the next step and I'll get that as mod of sin x into cos x is equal to 1 by 4. Now once I have this idea with me, I can just do it and solve it further as sin x into cos x. So if I remove the mod from here, I get the right hand side turning out to become plus or minus 1 by 2. Now if I multiply both sides by 2, I get this converted in the form of 2 sin x cos x, which is nothing but the expansion of sin 2. So we have got this entire left hand side converted to form sin 2x. And if I cancel out those two ones, two twos, you get this as plus or minus half. So sin 2x is equal to plus or minus half. That tells me 2x is nothing but sin inverse of plus or minus half. Now when I understand 2x is equal to sin inverse of plus or minus half, I need to find the values for x in the interval from 0 to 2 pi. So if I try to find that out, I know sine inverse of plus half, it occurs at 
30 degrees. Then sine inverse of minus half. Again, in the second quadrant, if you see, if I apply the idea, we know in the first quadrant, sine is positive. In the second quadrant, also sine is positive. In the third quadrant, we have sine negative. And in the fourth quadrant, also we have sine negative. So if I apply that idea till 2 pi first, I get this as 30 degree when it is half. Again, I get this as half when it is pi minus theta. So pi minus theta means 180 minus 30, that is 150 degree. So again, at an angle of 150 degree, it becomes this positive. Again, after that, I see pi plus theta. So that is 180 plus 30, that is 210. And we have this idea again as minus theta, or I can write that as 2 pi minus theta. So that is 360 minus 30, that is 330. Now, if you understand, we have this multiples for 2x, right? So if I want to find x, I'm just going to divide this by 2. So when I'm going to divide this entire thing by 2, and I want the interval from 0 to 2 pi, I should actually find for this 2x from 0 to 4 pi. So if I try finding at that again, I add 360 to all of these angles and my angles consecutively then become 390, 510. Then you have 210 plus 360, that is 570. And you have 360 plus 330, that is 690. So from the interval of 0 to 4 pi, I'm finding these angles because I have it for 2x. So now if I find it for out for x, so if I write my first angle in terms of radian, so you understand that well, it becomes pi by 6. And further on, we have this 8 angles. And if I try to find out x here in the terms of 0 to 2 pi, that is nothing but from 0 to 360 degrees. I'm dividing all of this my angles by half. So if I'm dividing it by half, it becomes 15 degrees, 75 degrees. You have 105, 330. If I divide it by 2, it becomes 165. Then you have 390 divided by 2 again. So that makes it 195. 510, 205. Not 205, 255. Then you have 570, that is 285. And you have the last angle, 690. If I divide that also by 2, I get 345. So if you see, all of my angles measures are in the range from 0 to 25, that is 0 to 350. So if you see how many distinct solutions we have got for this values of x, that are 8. So if I make you understand drawing the curve of sine, my curve of sine 2x would be something like this. So we get here two positive values for sine first in the first and second quadrant. Then we get two negative values of minus half again. Again, you get two positive values for half and again you get two negative values. So in total, you have eight different distinct solutions for this equation given to us. And if I talk about the answer choices that matches with the question, that is options. So C becomes the correct answer for the question given to us. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of question. So we just applied the ideas of logarithms. We got a equation in terms of sine theta. And we just plotted the curve from 0 to 360. We got eight different solutions satisfying that. So you get the answer for the question as option C. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on 11, 12, as well as JWE. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, do like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Do share these videos with your friends who are involved in the preparation of questions on JEE. So they can also take the benefit from this question, which we are solving on every day. Thank you.